Hi, it's TJ and today I'm going to be showing you how I do my at-home facelifting, toning and tightening treatment which uses a whole host of different tools and products. Hey guys, in today's video I kind of want to show you guys what I do on a weekly basis to take care of my skin, to help lift, tighten and tone my face and to keep my complexion under control. If this is your first time to my channel, I am a 40-something lover of everything to do with skincare. I'm not trying to completely erase the visible signs of aging. I just wanna look the best that I can for the age that I am right now. Now, when it comes to aging in the face, there's only so much you can do because a lot of the changes that happen are changes within the bone itself. The older we get, the more bone we start to lose. The more bone we lose, the more things start to sink in. There's less structure for the muscles to be holding on to, and things just begin to head south. But that doesn't mean you have to live the rest of your life looking like some kind of bloodhound. Now, I've invested a lot of time, effort, and training into taking back control of my skin. And I finally feel like I'm at a place where I'm really happy with it. Now, if you're one of those people and you're sat there looking at the screen right now thinking, he's clearly got a face full of Botox. No, you absolute... Ah! My face, it moves. My brows go up and down. My face moves. Why do I look so emotionless in my videos? I'm British. It's just the way that we are. Now, I've dabbled with Botox in the past. There's no secret with that. And there's absolutely no shame if that's what you want to go ahead and do. Go ahead and fill your face up. And anyone who's got a problem with that, well, give them that. So just to clarify, I have no Botox in my face. I don't have filler in my face. And no, I've not had any surgery either. Everything that I have done, I have done myself. And it's not something that I have just fallen into. This is something that I've spent years training and getting qualified for. And clearly I know my because my face is all of the example that I need. So my weekly routine involves manual exfoliation. I use my exfoliating gloves right here. I do this dry because I feel that that works best for me. Then obviously I need to do this with a clean face. So I clean my skin, make sure that there's no oil or grime or anything like that on there. And I have three different tools that I use. I have microcurrent, dedicated EMS, and electroporation. Now, a lot of people bypass using EMS or electrical muscle stimulation on their face because they're scared that it's going to cause their wrinkles to get deeper. Luckily for you, EMS doesn't do that to your skin. In fact, it can actually help remove wrinkles. Just as an example, as we get older and the brows start to drop, they can kind of get in your line of vision. So your brain naturally tries to raise your brows to keep them out of your field of vision. But what this does is it gives you your horizontal lines on the forehead. The longer you're raising your brows for, the deeper and more embedded these forehead lines become. But what you can actually do is you can use EMS to tighten and tone the muscles that lift the brows naturally, which is gonna lift your upper eye area out of your field of vision and you're not gonna be frowning to do that. Likewise, using EMS on your cheeks is gonna to help to elevate the cheeks, which can soften your nasolabial folds. You can use it on your jawline to lift all of your jaw up. It's basically a workout for your face and it's incredibly powerful. But the problem with EMS is that it can deplete ATP or adenosine triphosphate. Now, ATP is the primary energy source for a lot of our biological functions, including protein synthesis, nerve impulse transmission, and muscular contraction. It also acts as fuel for the cells. So having as much ATP in your skin as possible is always gonna be the goal. Now, if EMS is gonna deplete that ATP, what can you do to fix that? You can use microcurrent. Now, microcurrent is also using an electrical signal to stimulate the muscles within the face. The difference with microcurrent is that, as the name suggests, the current is microscopic compared to the EMS. You're barely gonna feel a tingle with this. But all the time that you're using it, what it's doing is working those microscopic muscles out that are in your skin, helping to lift, tighten, tone, improve your complexion, minimize the appearance of your pores, and supercharge your body's production of ATP. So microcurrent always comes after EMS. Obviously, when it comes to using EMS or microcurrent, you need to have a really good conductive gel, which is where the Medicube HR Booster Gel comes into play. This is the only kind of conductive gel that I ever really use. I do like to mix a little bit of the Medicube collagen line into this product as I'm using it, but it's not really that essential because when it comes to applying the Medicube products, I'm going to be using the Medicube HR Booster H device, which is the electroporation device which basically causes micro channels within the skin and allows products to penetrate deeper into the skin and take action and just basically giving you more out of your topical products. 
ingenious. We'll dig a little bit more into the science behind this as I'm using it, but this is always my second to last step. Now, I normally do this routine in the evening, which means that I will finish off with my night creams and my wrapping creams and my serums, just to make sure that I'm feeding my skin and nourishing it and replenishing it and just keeping it looking as glassy and glowy as possible. So, dry exfoliation. I love my exfoliating gloves and I know a lot of people aren't into manual exfoliation. They say that it can damage the skin, can irritate it. Really, it's all about doing what works best for you. Now, I know this works best for me, so this is what I'm going to do. Now, when I'm doing this, I'm basically doing a peace sign, turning it round, and just gentle circular motions. And then what this is doing is it's just sloughing off all of those dead skin cells so that when I do my skincare later, that it's not kind of just being absorbed and wasted on dead and dry skin. Now I'm applying just a little bit of pressure, but not very much at all. Dead skin, done and dusted. Now when it comes to EMS, I will normally use the EMS that is included in my third generation mini high food device, but I also have my original EMS device here, which is super powerful. Now this one is designed for using under the chin, along the jawline, but the balls on it make it perfect for kind of doing the upper cheek as well. So when it comes to EMS, I'm looking at using EMS on areas that I want to lift and tone. So obviously that is the cheeks, that's gonna be the jawline, and a little bit around the brows just to help lift the eyes. And then as soon as I finish with the EMS treatment, I give myself a quick two or three minute treatment with the microcurrent device, which I have two of, which means that I can spend less time doing the treatment and more time doing other stuff. So, HR Booster Gel, a nice big dollop of it, about the size of an olive or a grape is enough. Straight onto the areas that I'm gonna be treating, so cheek, I've not used this for a while and this one is really gonna make my face contract and contort and move around. Actually, I'm gonna start on the cheek and we're gonna up the power. I literally can't open my eye now, so it's covering this whole area. What this is doing is it's causing the muscle to contract and release up to 30 times per second, which means that the muscles are getting a really, really good workout. Mid cheek. So what I'm gonna do, no, it's gonna, hold on. I look like I'm having a stroke again. And then just under. And I'm not gonna force you to watch me do this whole face. So I'm just gonna do just a little bit of a massage with it now. And then I'm gonna quickly zip through the other side. We're gonna speed through that because you've already seen me do this half. You don't need to see me do the other side as well. Okay, so the EMS is done. So now what I'm gonna do, is just a couple of minutes with the microcurrent devices. So again, another blob of this because I wanna cover the whole face this time. Devices on. Gonna go straight in at level four. And then what I'm doing here is I am just replenishing that ATP that I have just kind of taken out of my skin. But this is also gonna help with the pore size, it's gonna help with the skin texture, it's gonna help with any crepiness. Basically makes your skin look really, really nice. And the more you use this, the better your skin looks over time. On the neck, I'm just avoiding the center line where my thyroid and my larynx is. I always say that, but just in case this is your first time here and kind of, you never seen me do this kind of thing before, just so you know. Et voila. You don't need to wash off the Medicube HR gel. It soaks in beautifully to the skin and it can be used like a serum, it can be used as a moisturizer, it can be used as a makeup primer, whatever you wanna use it for under the skin. It's gonna soak in really beautifully and really just provide lots of hydration and nourishment.
So if you don't want to take it off, by all means, leave it on. But for me, I'm going to be moving on to the next step, which is the electroporation. So I'm going to be removing what gel I've got on there so that my skincare products kind of soak in a little bit better. So what I'm basically doing here is I'm using the Glass Glow Essence or the toner just to make sure that my skin is nice and clear and gives a really good foundation for the electroporation. Now my skin looks a little bit red and blotchy now because I've been using the EMS and the microcurrent on it. It settles down after about an hour or so. The Medicube Triple Collagen Complex line is absolutely loaded with anti-aging goodies. It's got hydrogelized collagen, atello collagen and soluble collagen. That's the Triple Collagen Complex. But it also includes things like apple, lemon, orange, key lime and white willow bark. Now around about a year and a half ago I had the worst cystic acne of my life. And the Medicube Red Line and Super Seeker Line really helped get that under control. Today I just have the odd pimple breaking out here and there, but otherwise everything else is really good. Right, my face is toned, so now I'm gonna apply the Triple Collagen Peptide Complex Serum. A Couple of dollops onto my face. Though this is starting to look a little bit dodgy. So I'm gonna turn on my Booster H device. I've been using this a lot so I can go straight in on level 5 and all I'm doing is I am rubbing it over the skincare and you can literally feel it going into the skin. Now this is a needle free skincare boosting device, it's kind of, it uses the same kind of concept as microneedling but without the needles. And it does this with electroporation. Now electroporation is where within a short time period high voltage pulses are applied to the skin which creates non-damaging temporary micropores. These micropores allow the product to sink deeper into the skin, letting you get more out of your skincare. This is known as reversible electroporation. Basically, the cell membranes have now got little tiny micropores in them and everything is soaking in and being absorbed up to 490% more than as if you were applying it just with your hands. So looking at those numbers, studies have shown an increase of approximately 490% in absorption levels. 57.4% uh, improvement in skin glossiness, and who doesn't want to have glossy skin? And 4.5 and 16.5% improvement in inner and outer skin hydration levels, as well as a 6.8% improvement in overall complexion texture. Now there is some talk in certain communities that electroporation can lead to cell death, which in fact is actually a thing that can happen. Like seriously, it can happen. However, this is observed in non-reversible electroporation. Yet, the boosted device from Medicube uses reversible electroporation, which means that cell death is not going to occur. But what is non-reversible electroporation? Irreversible or non-reversible electroporation is a soft tissue ablation technique, which uses short but super strong electrical field that create permanent and lethal nanopores in the cell membranes, resulting in their death. Now reversible electroporation, which we've got in this device right here, occurs when the increase in membrane permeability is transient, not permanent, and the cell regains homeostasis, or is able to continue living as it was before you've done the treatment. So when you hear about electroporation and needle-free microcurrent machines possibly causing cellular death, you don't need to worry about it, especially with the Medicube device, because it is reversible electroporation, not irreversible electroporation used as the technology in this. I mean, which is perfect because it leaves your skin looking absolutely amazing after you've done a treatment. Just gonna finish off now and just make sure that everything is really absorbed. Okay, five minutes is up with that. So now that is really pushed in. So the next step is to apply my triple deep erasing cream. This again contains all of those beautiful ingredients that I mentioned earlier. Now I'm just applying just a little bit on here, onto the neck. And then because as it's the night time and I'm gonna be heading to bed soon, I am gonna be applying my Medicube Collagen Night Wrapping Cream. Now this is the last step of my skincare routine. I avoid putting it on my lips or around the delicate eye area. It's not needed there. Gonna put this on, it takes around about 15 to 20 minutes for it to dry before I go to bed, and then in the morning I just wash it off. A few pumps, and it's really, really thick, this one. Down onto the neck again. And 
Now I've got super sticky hands and I'm ready for bed. And that is my full skincare routine that I follow once a week with this one. This is a really intense treatment that I do. The reason it's once a week is because of the EMS. I use the electroporation device every single day when I'm applying my skincare. And if you don't have one of these, I highly recommend you get one. Obviously, beautiful skincare ingredients are always a really important part of getting that perfect complexion and that glass skin and that dewy glow. Microcurrent I do two to three times a week just to keep my ATP levels high. I don't want to exhaust my skin so I like to give it a rest in between. But these routines just show that I'm not doing too bad for an old dude and it works. If you're interested in getting your hands on any of these products that I've used today, I'm going to throw links down in the description. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like before you leave. Have an amazing day ahead of you and enjoy the rest of your week. And I really look forward to seeing you in my next video. So till then, TJ, over and out.